Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be talking about and hopefully showing you how I made this goose purse. Um, I made a few TikToks about this purse and they kind of blew up and I got lots of comments saying they wanted for me to show how I did it. Also, I'm sorry for the background noise, my window is open. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna be sort of talking you through how I made this today and also showing how I made um, like the handle and the feet. Um, the overall like bag itself is just made from like two rectangles that I sewed together and then I lined the inside. I can flip the camera around and show you a little bit more closer in a second. But I just wanted to say I am sick again. Um, I literally just tested positive for COVID this morning. So that is fun. I'm going to be home for probably over a week, just literally staying in my room because I don't want to get anyone else sick. But yeah, I'm going to be making a bunch of YouTube tutorials, YouTube videos in this time that I have because the rest of the time I'm busy with school. So yeah, um, I'm not like like my symptoms aren't that bad, so don't worry, it's fine. But pretty much, yeah. Let me just get off the topic of COVID and figure out how I'm gonna show you guys the bag. All right, so sorry my desk is kind of messy. I do paint and stuff on my desk, so that's why it's kind of gross. But otherwise, this is the bag close up. This is the handle. Um, okay, sorry, the car just drove by. Um, these are the feet, so the bag, the back, as you can see, I did line the entire thing, I lined the inside, I can even flip it inside out for you guys to see. Those who are pretty good at just, like, looking at stuff and recreating, this is basically just what I did for this pattern. I just kind of looked, you know, at a picture of what I wanted to make, and I just started making it, um, but... Yeah, I'm going to try to explain what I did as best as I can. <laughs> All right, so for the base of the bag, I just crocheted two rectangles and sort of kind of rounded them by doing some, like... So I started it down here, and then I kind of increased it to be a little bit bigger, and then I just kept going for, the, like, as long as I wanted, um, if that makes sense. <laughs> Hey guys, quick little voiceover. I will be putting up the measurements in just a moment, um, obviously, because I don't think I actually told you guys what I, like, the measurements for the bag in the video, but yeah, I'll put them up on the screen. All right, so from top to bottom, it was 7.5 inches and across 10.5. And then the handle was about 20 inches long. Um, I can show you how I did the increases. And then you can just add as many chains as you want to make the big or the bag as big as you want. You can also use um, half double crochets or double crochets. But for the entirety of this bag, I just used single crochets. So I guess it's up to you what you want for the stitches. It'll pretty much all come out the same. But yeah, I hope that makes sense. And then I did the same thing for the back. And then I just sewed them together. I lined it which, you know, is optional, but if you know how to do that, I would recommend it if you want to actually use this bag. Um, I did use acrylic yarn, and acrylic yarn is a little bit more stretchy, so... Yeah, I guess it's personal preference. You don't have to use acrylic yarn. For the feet, I'll show you how to make the feet. Pretty much, I just made up the pattern for the feet, and then I sewed them on after I sewed the sides of the bag together. And then I'll show you how I made, like... The handle pretty much i just made like a circle and started going and making it long like a tube and then i increased and made the head and then decreased for the beak and i just sewed on both sides but yeah overall i would say i mean for me it was pretty simple but if you have some experience with crocheting then it shouldn't be too hard so i'm going to start off by showing you what i did for like increasing and um yeah, but I'm going to do it like a little miniature piece because I'm obviously not going to make another whole bag. Yeah, all right. 
All right, so for the bag, I used this yarn. I got this at Michael's. This is the color white, and then I used the other color. It's just like a butter yellow, same brand of yarn. Um, and then for the hook size, I just used a five millimeter hook, but you can, again, kind of size up or down depending on what your preference is. So yeah, that's all up to you. Okay, so for this sample piece, I'm just gonna chain like 10. So I could just show you like a little piece of what I did. But you're gonna start off with a slip knot around your hook. And then obviously don't chain 10, chain more because you want your bag to actually be a good size. All right, and then you're gonna chain one extra um, that as as many that you chained so you're able to turn and like go into the first stitch so you now you're gonna go into the first stitch and I'm gonna use single crochets but of course you use whatever stitch you want and then you're just going to single crochet down that first row one single crochet into every stitch down the row All right, this is what my piece looks like. Now I'm going to chain one and turn my work. And now I'm going to start some increases or yeah, some increases so I can kind of make the piece kind of round out like this piece did. All right, so into the first stitch, we're gonna go through both loops and we're gonna do one single crochet and back into that same stitch, we're going to do one more single crochet. And then we're going to go down the row until we have one stitch left in our row. And now with this one stitch left, we're <laughs> one stitch left, we're going to go in and do one single crochet. And go back and do one more and that is our increase for the round now we're going to chain one and turn our work and we're going to do a few more rows of the same thing that we just did so i'm going to go into that first stitch do one single crochet and do one more single crochet into that same stitch and that's our increase for the beginning of the row then go all the way down the row, just single crochets or whatever stitch you're using until we have one stitch left. And now we're gonna go to this last stitch and do two stitches. That's our first one back in and that's our second. Chain one and turn your work. So as you can see, it's starting to become more like sort of like rounded almost, but you can just kind of do this until you like how much round roundedness there is to your bag, I guess. I don't think I said that right. But anyways, now I'm gonna do a few rows of just single crochets into every single stitch so I can show you what it sort of, like what the effect does um, to the bag. So once you round it, enough to your liking just start doing rows of single crochets until it's the size of your preference I will be back in a moment with the final like example piece done all right so this is the piece looks like after I did a few rows of just single crochets um, and pretty much you're just gonna make this but the you know accurate size to the bag that you want to make um so yeah but then basically all you would do is i just chained one and i would cut my work and then pull through and then i have my first piece i'd make an exact second piece and then sew them together or line them first and then sew them together whatever your preference is so yeah i hope that helps with this part of the bag now i'm going to show you how to make the little feet all right so for the feet we're going to start off with a slip stitch around our hook, or a slip knot around our hook, my bad. 
and then I'm going to chain four. All right, so I'm gonna go into the second chain from the hook. So this one is the one, two. And I'm just gonna do a single crochet. And then I'm just gonna single crochet into the other two stitches. Then I'm gonna chain one and turn my work. And then into this first stitch, I'm going to do two single crochets. The middle one, I'm not gonna do an increase, just one. And then this last one, I'm going to do two single crochets. That's the end of this row. I'm gonna chain one, turn my work. Now I'm gonna do just single crochets down the entire thing. I'm gonna chain my work and turn. And you can kind of see it's starting to build up. All right, and now I'm just gonna do one more row of single crochets down the entire thing. And that is it. I'm gonna chain one, and then you can cut your work and just pull through. And then, yeah, just make two of these, and then you have your little goose feet for the bag. Okay, now I'm going to show you how to make like the goose, like the neck part. Um, yeah, I don't really know how to explain it. Like the, the handle part, yeah. Um, and basically this whole thing is just one piece. So I'll just be showing you how to do that. So first we're going to just start off by making another like slip knot around your hook. We don't start with a magic ring, so for those who don't know how to do that, that's probably a little bit easier for you guys. And then we're going to chain 11. Alright, and now we're going to oops, slip stitch into this first little chain. And just like that, we have now like a little connected little loop. And now we can chain one and begin. All right, so we're gonna go into this first um, stitch right here, or the stitch right next to the chain. And we're just going to do a single crochet. Now you're gonna do a single crochet all the way around until we get back to the beginning. You can use a magic, or sorry, not a magic ring. You can use a stitch marker if you want to help keep track of your rows. Personally, I didn't do that for this, but it's personal preference. It's all up to you if you want to keep count of your rows. So do that if it makes you feel better. And then once you go all the way around, I'm just going to slip stitch into the first single crochet that I did. And pretty much that's all I do for the main part of the handle. I just single crochet into every single stitch around, slip stitch into the top stitch of the row, and then chain one and begin again. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and do this for a few more rows so you guys can just kind of get the general idea. And then I will show you how to make the head and the beak. All right, so I did a few more rows on like the main part. So you can go ahead and just make this as long as you need to be able to obviously reach the other side of your bag. Um, I am gonna show measurements um, at some point in this video. Uh, I already have like a plan for when I'm editing it. So you probably already seen the measurements, but um, yeah, sorry about that. Anyways, um, just pretend we're at like the head now. So if you need to catch up, do a bunch more of this. Now I'm going to show you how to do the little. All right, so it's editing me. I actually am popping in for a second because I think I messed up on my measurements earlier. 
So for the um, handle piece, I said it was overall 20 inches, which is correct. But I did not keep in mind that that was including the head and the beak. Anyways, just do about 17 inches for the neck part and then keep about 3 inches left for the head and the beak. And that should solve the problem that I made with the measurements. So sorry about that. My bad. Anyways, back to the video. The little, like, head. And also, you can uh, use safety eyes for this. This is what I used. Or you can just sew the eyes on if you know how to do that. But, yeah, I'm going to show you how to make the head now. So, okay. So, now that we are ready to start this next row, we're going to go into the first stitch, obviously. And I'm going to do one single, uh, one single crochet. And the next stitch, I'm going to do another single crochet. And in this third stitch, I'm going to do an increase of two single crochet. All right, so that means every third stitch we're going to be increasing in this row. So one single crochet, next stitch, one single crochet, into this third stitch now, two single crochets. And we're just going to keep repeating this. And then slip stitch into the first stitch again. So now you can kind of see that it's starting to kind of go like outwards. I'm going to do one more row of increases. So I'm going to do now every um, fourth stitch we're going to increase. So three regular single crochets and then on the fourth stitch, which is this for me, I'm going to do two single crochets into that same stitch. Okay, now for the next two rows, we're just going to be doing regular single crochets into the each stitch again. So I go ahead and do two rows of just one single crochet into each stitch for two rows. Okay, now we're going to do a row of decreases after you did the two rows of single crochets. So now we're going to do every fourth stitch a decrease. Oops. And then how I decrease is I just go into the first stitch, pull up a loop, go into the next stitch, and then pull up another loop, and then decrease like that. And then before I finish off the row, I'm actually going to cut and change the color of my yarn to yellow now, because now we're working on the beak. All right, once you change the color, you can chain one, and then we're going to, to do just a row of single crochets with the new color. And then slip stitches to the beginning of the row, chain one. For this next row, we're going to be doing every third stitch, make a decrease. So, yeah. So, one single crochet, two single crochet, and then in this third stitch, decrease. And just repeat that. And then slip stitch when you're done with the row, chain one like always. And now I'm going to be doing one row of single crochets around. To get to the end. Sorry, I'm going a little bit fast for this part, but pause if you need. Now I'm going to decrease one more time. This time we're going to decrease every fourth stitch. So one, 
two, three, and now we're to decrease. And one more time, one, two, three, and now I'm gonna decrease. And then slip stitch, chain one. I'm gonna do one more row of just like single crochets again. Now we are almost done. Now is the point where I would add my safety eyes, but because I'm not actually gonna be using this for anything, I'm not gonna add them. But I will show you like where I added them. I just kind of added them a few rows before I started the yellow. And then I just put them like two or three stitches apart, as you can see. So one, two, three, actually no, four stitches apart. But it's up to you where you want to put them. Okay. Now for this last row, we're going to be single crocheting and then decreasing every other stitch. And yeah. And now I'm just going to go into the stitch across from where my hook is currently. And I'm just going to pull through like a slip stitch. And then chain one. And then you could just snip your work. I leave some tail for sewing, um, you know, onto the bag. Also, I forgot to say, if you wanted to stuff the head, you could. Um, what I kind of did was I just kind of put stuffing in through the back and then pushed it like up. And yeah, you don't have to use stuffing for the entire handle if you don't want to. I lightly stuffed it and then I stuffed the head to be a little bit firmer, but that's completely up to you. So yeah, that's pretty much it for the tutorial. Now you just kind of put it all together. Hey guys, it's a few hours after I actually just filmed how I made this sort of, um, just like some little bits and pieces and you can figure out how to put the rest together yourself. But yeah, I hope that helped. It might have been a little bit confusing. I am sick, so like my brain hurts um, and whatever. So I don't think I'm thinking straight, but I did want to get a tutorial out for you guys because lots of people on TikTok ask for, you know, a little tutorial. So yeah, anyways, that's the bag. I hope you enjoyed and yeah, I do plan on making some other tutorials very soon. So, yeah. Hope you enjoyed. See you guys in my next video. Bye.